Alright guys, we ate our breakfast. Very full, had some good omelets over at Poppins. And now, we're heading over to St. Mary's. So it's game day? It's game day. We Southampton and Arsenal coming in this match. Arsenal actually has two losses in a row. Southampton just got destroyed, smacked by Chelsea 6-0 last week. But Armando Broja is back. The Loney from Chelsea, striker for Southampton. I'm feeling pretty good. I think James Moore Prowse possibly could put one in the back of the net, maybe a free kick goal. Right now, we're walking to St. Mary's. Down the street that way is actually where everything happens. That's where all the bars and everything are. Yeah. But we want to get there early. We kind of enjoy the atmosphere, soaking in. See Arsenal. See the fans. Yeah, see them warm up. See the teams warm up. And then uh, from there, three o'clock start. You get yeah. at 1 30. Feeling good. And we're talking about the Southampton that, of course, Gareth Bale came through, Virgil van Dijk after Celtic played here. Um, a lot of history at St. Mary's. Beautiful city. Yeah. Kind of laid back. Laid I back love Southampton. Anymore. Weather is perfect today. Sunny with a slight breeze, 65 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm loving it. I'm ready for my first Premier League match, believe it or not. Been over to Europe so many times, been to England once before. Seen a few grounds now. We went to QPR, we went to Fulham. We did a tour of the Emirates years ago. But we're finally making it to the first Premier League match over at uh, St. Mary's. Yeah, and um, St. Mary's is a pretty nice stadium. It's a four-star UEFA stadium situated right on the water here in Southampton. Um, pretty much enclosed, you'll see that today. I think it gets loud. I don't think the Southampton fans are the loudest, but it's still, it's still a Premier League atmosphere. So we'll see, hopefully they prove us yeah. wrong. Yeah, the atmosphere right now seems very tame, but that's because yeah. we're taking like back roads. Yeah. We walked through the one bars, hopefully you saw all that. That's where most of the supporters I said would be stacked in, getting their pints before the match. Yeah. The match time is now like an hour and a half away. So they're, they're still getting their drinks in. The one thing, they're getting their drinks in. The one thing about matches over here opposed to the United States is you can't drink in the seats during the matches. Mm -hmm. So everything has to be pre-match, post-match. I don't know if you can drink in concessions this area, I'm not sure. We'll see. Um, Walking up. Beautiful day. It's like a cheesesteak. No, it's a bratwurst. Yeah. I like it here. Where's the stadium from? So we've arrived at St. Mary's Stadium. It's a nice park. Happened for one month. It's still kind of early, an hour and a half before the game starts. The match starts, so not everyone's here yet, but people are starting to pack it in. But we're seeing a lot of burgers and fries, uh, bratwurst, just random things to eat. It looks okay, to be fair. It doesn't look bad. It's Let's very do a festive. Lap around the stadium, maybe. We'll do a lap. Let's go this way. We'll do a lap. It's very festive here. Fashion Schwarzenegger. Where? It's definitely not. <laughs> look like him. It really looks like him. Though. Really? There's a quarry. Yeah, it's kind of industrial around here. Yeah. It's slightly industrial, but it, you know, in a way. The stadium kind of just pops up and looks you out of nowhere. You're not expecting it. And then you see, you see the large beams of St. Mary's Park. It's cool. I like it. Nice Porsche. Do you know where we go in? Which one? No, we'll figure it out. Mm. Looks like there's like some sort of bus. So Tottenham's playing over oh, there. Oh, yeah. Let's go. Fan zone. 
about trying to get in? That's it, 701. That's it. Let's go. Here, four, the so Six, Gabrielle. Seven, the Six, the Eight, the Seventeen, Cedric. Twenty, Nuno Tavares. Twenty-three, Albert Sandy, the Congo. 30, Eddie Kenton, 34, Brandon Shanker, and 35, Antonelli. And the substitutes for the visitors, number one, Bob Leonard, 10, Emil Smith-Rowe, 16, Ron Holden, 19, Nicholas Pepe, 25, Mohamed Aldeni, 38, Miguel Aziz, 61, Mazin Ogongo, 69, Zach Swanson, which one for me? Seven hundred. Seven hundred. Seven hundred. Number four, Leanco. Six, James Ward Prowse. Number 17, Stuart Armstrong. Number 18, Armando Brogia. Number 24, Mohamed El Yunusi.
Hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog here from Southampton, England. Southampton won Arsenal nil in a match that definitely had two sides in the first half. You know, Arsenal was essentially dominating. Southampton able to get a quick goal before the end of the first half. Second half saw the atmosphere kick in and the Saints took over. Five in the back, completely were able to keep Arsenal from scoring. And that does it, 1-0. I hope you enjoyed today's vlog. This is Santa Soccer TV, live from Southampton, England. See you guys in the episode.